Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how to clean up orchid leaves because I got some new orchids um, from the orchidarium yesterday and the previous time I got an orchid haul I was asked how I cleaned the leaves because I cleaned the leaves in between shots and one shot they were covered in grime and calcium deposits and all that kind of stuff and then suddenly in the next shot they were all like really nice and green and shiny and clean so I was asked how I clean the orchid leaves. And the answer is really simple. I use mayonnaise, which is maybe a bit of an unexpected agent to be using for cleaning leaves, but it works really, really well, at least in my experience. So I figured I'd do a short video today to show you how to do it, what you need, and the results. For this demonstration, I've chosen to use the new Gigantia hybrid that I bought. And this is simply because it had the most calcium deposits on the leaf, so it's easiest to show you how effective this method is. And the only thing you're going to need for this are a cotton pad, like this, the ones you typically use to clean makeup off your face, that kind of stuff, and mayonnaise, as I showed you before. You only need a very small amount of mayonnaise. So typically what I do is I take a bottle that's pretty much empty, and we always have empty bottles because we're Dutch and we, drink, we eat too much mayonnaise. Uh, and you just kind of like dip it into the mayonnaise, and you have some on your cotton pad and you take the leaf and first I usually just dip it on different parts of the leaf kind of like how you would you know do moisturizer on your face and then you just start rubbing the leaf a bit there we go and the benefit of using mayonnaise is that beyond making the leaf clean and getting rid of the calcium deposits because it is an oil well it has oils it also makes the leaves nice and shiny and glossy. It makes it look, you know, even healthier, even nicer. So I really like doing it this way. And there you go. That's the first leaf clean. And I'll just, if you compare it to the other leaf, you can see the difference in gloss and the difference in um, how the calcium deposits are pretty much all gone. You know, you can uh, spend some more time polishing the edges because that's where some things tend to kind of like stick around and go through the center of it, like so, and you have a really nice and clean leaf. Uh, a warning though, do not do this to the bottom of the leaves, because the bottom of the leaves is generally where the stomata are located, and the stomata are kind of like, um, they're like pores that the plant uses to breathe for gas exchange. And if you were to wipe them down with an oily substance like this, it might clog them and cause problems for the plant. I haven't tested this myself, but it is something I've heard and it is something that kind of makes sense to me. So I would just be really cautious about cleaning the bottom side of the leaves. Um, it's probably best to just leave them be. It's not like it's going to hinder photosynthesis because that part doesn't get all that much light. So yeah, I would say don't do this to the bottom of the leaf, just the top, just the part you're going to see. And then you move on to the next leaf. So you just take a little bit more mayonnaise and you spread over the leaf. As you can see, it all um, disappears very easily, the calcium deposits. Like it, it gets dissolved very quickly and goes onto the cotton um, pad. You can see how the dirt kind of stays on it. Let me just refocus on the leaf. I'll speed all this up and cut some parts out to make it a little bit more exciting to watch. I always really enjoy doing this because it allows me to spend a little bit more time investigating the plant and looking at the health of the leaves, any sort of markings or damages. Um, and it gives me something to do with it as well. It, it improves it. You know, it's very rewarding to rub the leaves and immediately see improvement in how it looks. It's instant feedback. So I always really enjoy doing this with my new orchids. Like I said, you really don't need all that much to be able to clean it. Spreads up very easily, shines it very nicely. Oh, oops. And feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't actually participated in orchid shows and stuff like that. But I am aware of the fact that special orchid shine substances aren't allowed to be used in a show, an orchid show. But I thought someone told me that mayonnaise was. Now I don't know why that would be the case, it's a bit silly. But uh, you might want to look into it if you're looking for a way to pretty up your orchids before... Are you kidding me? 
I just did one of my biggest fails ever. This giant root just snapped off. It, it must have already been quite damaged, but uh, I'm gonna be more careful now. Okay, so that was a mistake. Um, I feel a bit terrible about that. I'm not sure how it happened. It must have got stuck against my sleeve or something. Anyway, let's keep going. That's all we can do. So, move on to the next leaf. Hmm? I found something interesting here. I'll, I'll bring it in a little bit closer. You see how this leaf here, it was, it was very much on top of this leaf, like very close together. It was very little space in between them. Underneath it, you have chlorosis. You see, and there's a lack of um, chlorophyll here, probably because it wasn't receiving enough light. Uh, this is, I've never seen that before, so clearly. I just thought it was funny, and I, I wanted to show you guys. It very clearly matches the shape of the leaf, even to the point where you have like this little, this little kind of like wave towards the tip. It's very amusing. Anyway, back to cleaning the leaves. You can see here, towards the crown, there's a little bit more, towards the stem actually, there's a little bit more algae or something like that. And you can see it all deposits onto the cotton pad. The algae tends to be a little bit more difficult to get off. In general, what I find works best with those is the use of a cotton bud because you can apply a little bit more pressure with them. So I'll just put a tiny bit of mayonnaise on there, just a little, little bit. And then let's see right over here. just much easier to put pressure on particular places where the algae is growing. See? It all deposits onto the cotton bud. This also works for little nooks and crannies, which, is which are difficult to reach with your cotton pad, or for the vein in the center, which sometimes is difficult to get clean with a cotton pad. And there we go. We have a pretty decent result. Excellent. Just get some more distance again, so it's easier for me to work. Ooh. Great, well done. Mayonnaise on my phone. Okay, so on to the last two leaves. Now with these leaves, I have to be a little bit more careful because first of all, they're hidden behind other leaves, and I don't want to damage those leaves. And second of all, I don't want to damage the flower or the flower spike. So I need to be a little bit more careful with the two of these. There we go. And then the very last leaf, I believe. Now it's difficult to reach the, um, all the way to the stem here because the flower spike and the other leaves that lie over it, but we don't really tend to see that anyway, so it's not a very high priority to clean. Uh, it also doesn't get too much sunlight, so it's not like the grime is going to block a vital amount of sunlight that it could use for photosynthesis. There we go. And I believe that's it. And there we go. All the leaves are clean. They're shiny, and they should have a better access to sunlight now that all the dust and calcium and grime is gone. And it just looks a lot prettier for your living room, doesn't it? So that was the cleaning of the leaves of my Gigantia hybrids. And the principle remains the same for other orchids as well. Just be careful, you know, don't put too much force, don't break anything like I did with the root, that was really stupid. And make sure not to clean the underside of the leaves, just because it, it might give unintended side effects that you really don't want. And I hope this works out for you. It's a very simple and effective way to clean your orchid leaves. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. How did this happen? It must have just hit my sleeve and then broken, but like the end already looks pretty dry. It looks like it was already like 90% off and then this just did it. Here's a cleaner break. Ooh, you can really nicely see, you know how like the root is like vellum and then the actual root is inside? You can really nicely see it here with this healthy root. I guess we can turn a negative into a positive by appreciating that I don't know.
I'm gonna go and cry in a corner now. See you guys next time. Bye.